All right, what's going on guys? Coromon Mobile is now out and with that also came updates for the Switch and Steam versions with a brand new story overhaul. I'm not 100% sure how different the story is, but from what I can tell, it is at least somewhat extensive. So we're gonna replay the game. It's been about a year since we played Coromon on the channel anyways. So we're gonna go through the entire game again, check out the new story, check out some of the changes, and just have a good time with it. So that's pretty much what this is. Welcome to episode one. Uh, I am able to bring this to you guys early because the developers were nice enough to give me early access. Uh, Wednesday is when it's public. Um, but yeah, so that's ba basically what we're doing here. Let's start a new game. I'm pretty excited. If you haven't seen my video showcasing the uh, oh uh, flashes, we'll turn flashes down for you guys. Uh, if you haven't seen my video going over the post, the new post game content, which is the Battle Dome, check that out. Um, I'll leave it linked below. It just came out earlier today once uh, the embargo lifted. Oh, what do we have here? We have a dream. All right, I got a Rochi. Let's go. Uh, Phantom Spike. It's not that strong. Okay. Uh, Shadow Runner. How much damage is this? Eighty. All right, let's do it. What happens if I lose the dream in my sleep? Why is Darakaria in the in the lava? What is going on? So one thing I will say is we're gonna try to um, get through the early game areas relatively quickly because the demo's been out forever, uh, especially on mobile platforms, and I don't want to like bore you guys with the same thing. Since, like, up to Voltgar, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have seen. We're going to be going through this Let's Play a lot faster. Um, but we will keep it relatively vanilla with a few things just to add to the quality of life uh, for the Let's Play. That are, are, are some mechanics that I think should have been in the game, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. Because you do get access to some custom settings. But the reason I don't want to do, like, a randomizer or anything is because, like, if we're showcasing the new story... It's not going to really give you guys the proper experience, like if one of the bosses is like a swarmy. Are you still in bed? Rise and shine. All right. Why don't you put on something nice? You want to make a good impression? No, I don't. I want to make a terrible impression. Uh, I usually just pretty much go default with the black. Uh, hair's fine. I will give him a little beard. I got a goatee going on right now. Uh, black hair. Uh, be, yeah, no hats, fine. Okay, let's do it. Let's go, Ed. Damn right, I look great. All right, let's go downstairs. Good morning. You look sharp. You must be excited. You're finally going to become a Luxolus battle researcher. To celebrate your new job, I made a reservation at your favorite breakfast place. Where I heard uh, we're going to be going to the station. Okay, sweet. Come on, let's go. This is pretty similar. If you haven't watched the evolution of Coromon over time, uh, this guy used to be your rival way back. Uh, and this house used to be bigger. <laughs> and there used to be a creepy guy on TV. I remember all of it. A delicious breakfast later. See Marcel and Yotham over there. So here we are. Start of your own adventure. Look at you all growing up. I'm a little sad to see you go. But I'm also very proud of you. Ever since you were little, you've been dreaming about working for Lux Solace. I know you're ready for this. That's why I got you something. She gave me money. That's right. Give me all your cash, woman. <laughs> Look, I can see the train approaching. And they're gonna commit they're gonna commit the biggest sin. Making the train wait for you. Listen, bud, you don't wait for the train. Sorry, the train doesn't wait for you, you wait for the train. Get on the damn train. <laughs> As someone who works in transit, this makes me cringe. Get on the train! People got places to be. Y'all better hope I'm not driving that train. Drive off without you waste everybody's time 
Okay, pulling into the station. All is well and good. I've been thinking about which starter to pick. I'll talk about it a little more when we get there. But um, if you guys have seen my, my best starter video, you probably have an idea of who I'm picking. We picked, uh, I will say this, we picked Megalobite for the last Let's Play. So we're going to be switching it up. That's all I'm going to say. All right. My name's Adam starting out. A new colleague. All right. Do your stuff. Pre prefer difficulty. Okay, so this is what we're going to be doing. We do have some access to randomization because I've beaten the game. Um, but I don't want to... Or not just randomization, just custom rules in general. So we could do custom, right? Um, I want to... I, I, yeah, I definitely want to recover SP on level up. I think in a game with stamina, I personally think that um, when you leave a battle... Your SP slash stamina should just heal automatically. It does in Temtem, and I do wish it would do um, it would do that more often. Uh, I'll keep the HP off. I do want there to be some tension. Um, shop items are cheaper. We'll keep that on. Again, th th that's just quality of life. I, I guess you could say it's not really something that affects the difficulty of the game. Like, I can always grind for money. Uh, and I, I like the idea of regular cakes letting you revive your Coromon. Again, running back and forth to the center, while it might add hours and stuff to the game, isn't really good for a Let's Play. Um, there's also options to make the game much harder if you if you want. Um, smarter Coromon battles and stuff like that. Again, we're going for a pretty vanilla experience, just with a little bit of... Uh, extra flair and then you can randomize it if you guys have never seen me do a let's play before we have messed around with some of the stuff you can randomize quest coromon trainer coromon wild encounters the titan order uh and then you could screw around with the seed and stuff but we're just going to keep it like that basically some some things to make the game a little bit smoother for the let's play and uh we're gonna head in i want th this let's play is mostly going to be about getting through the new story and enjoying it uh, more of a casual playthrough i will uh we'll do the regular course i will go through like some of the randomization stuff in the future if you guys want we could do like a challenge run but for now we want to show off the new stuff so far things are pretty similar with the except oh, you know what i'll take the blue one this time it's pretty similar with the exception of the um little dream at the beginning but who knows there might be more to more to see First stop will be the Coromon Lab. So Nelson's going to hook us up with a, with a Coromon partner. I've chosen the non-extended course, so we can just kind of run through it. So we're going to get our starter right away. That smell. What are you smelling me for, bro? The smell of a starry-eyed battle researcher. Now, the only way I won't pick who I'm planning on picking is if one of them's a potent or a perfect. Which does show up in the overworld, which I think is cool. Okay, that's a standard Taruga. That's a standard Nibblegar. And it's a standard Cub Zero. Alright. Why don't you take a closer look? Trust your instincts and pick the one you like the most. Alright, well we gotta pick something. Alright, don't mind me guys. I had to make a quick cut because I'm a dad. And I had to make sure my kid was okay because she was she was whining. With the Jack of All Trades Cub Zero, you'll be ready for any situation. This is who I'm choosing. Cub Zero, in my opinion is the best starter now one of its moves splash which if you haven't played coromon uh was basically like it, it was basically like seismic toss with stab and with like effectiveness so it was amazing uh i'm gonna name this guy barry after our boy barry bandit because barry loves this thing he thinks it's like the best He's not wrong. It's a really good starter. Uh, it does solid against the first Titan. Not not really any big issues. The it, it's not it's not. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, so just Barry. Uh, it, it doesn't have too many issues in the uh, Donor Island area, which is there's a lot of water types there. Uh, your Cub Zero seems to has a Stoic trait. Okay, but you won't get far with just uh, one Coromon here. Take this, and we'll get a Patter bit. Now, in terms of capturing, I only want to capture stuff that's potent. Or perfect. I don't feel like capturing too many non-essential Coromon, so. Unless it's something specifically worth worth having. Alright. Activate my Lux Recall. Excuse me. We'll have a quick battle here. 
All right. Let's jam. Let's go, Nelson. And we, we just basically scratch him to death. The animations in Coromon are so nice, like the VFX. Dan, the guy that uh, that that does most of the art for Coromon, is insane. Very talented pixel artist. And one more scratch and we win. I kind of wonder what happens if you lose. You probably just don't get XP and he just says, oh, you suck. And we grow a level. Frost Chomp. Impressive. Well done. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. Can I catch some Coromon on my own now? Absolutely. You can start by exploring Radiant Park. Wait, there's one more thing. I advise you to not pass the bridge yet. Yep. We basically got to go to the R&D lab, get briefed by uh, the guy that used to be named Spruce. They changed his name. I think his name's like Rigel now or Regal. Uh, and then he, and then basically we're going to be left to our own devices. We're going to go to Donor Island and do all that stuff. Again, if you've played the demo, this is the demo area. So I, I don't want to spend too much time, uh, you know, screwing around in the demo area when the demo has been out for years at this point. Okay. Daily milestones are available. Complete three new challenges every day to unlock amazing rewards. All right, let's do it. To keep track of your daily milestones, you'll need to uh, send your gameplay information to our servers. See, the fact that they have servers makes me wonder if they'll ever do, like, a transfer thing between Coromon 1 and 2. Since they're already able to connect the first game to the servers, it'd be cool if you could, like, transfer your Coromon over. Uh, yep, share information. Alright. Oh, this is a battle dome. It's not ready yet. What are the streams that there'll be an unlimited streams of battle inside? But th there doesn't look like there's room. Oh, there will be. Uh, I guess we can grab this box. Grab some of the uh, items real quick. Spinner, HP cake, SP cake. And we'll run up right in here. What's up, buddy? What are you laughing at? You. Must be. The new battle researcher. Yep. My name is Larry. I'm going to tell you about the magical world of the gauntlet. This way. Here we are. Okay, so there's different modules for the gauntlet. Essentially, gauntlets are used for catching Coromon, but not just that. They're also used for overworld traversal. This is the push module. You're also going to see the flame module. Also, if you can get that thing to go 100, you get that chest. He's basically going to do the little fire thing. Again, if I'm skipping through this too fast, guys, let me know in the comments. I'll, I'll, I'll probably have a few episodes out before it goes live, but not as many as you might think. Probably like the first... Okay, I'll, I'll probably have the first 9 or 10 episodes out before it's like publicly available, but I will see your guys' feedback to episode 1. I'm recording this a day before, so... Uh, Larry, I need to borrow Ed there. Uh, there are some important... Like, I'm recording this on Sunday night, so I'll see your guys' feedback by, by Monday. So let me know if I'm skipping through things too quickly. Again, it's because we've done this so much, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Uh, you long-term fans, I think, would appreciate it, but if there are new fans, you know, let me know. I'm trying to do my best for everybody. It's nice to finally meet you. Let me explain. Uh, and then he's going to make me wear a lab coat, which I'm never going to take off. And glasses. Welcome to the restricted access area. That's a Titan essence, which makes you wonder why did I have to go get Volkar's essence if they already have it? Okay, it's about. Oh, you want me to join the Titan task force? Yes. We you so just gr such great motivation that I had to make sure you were assigned. Anyway, these Titan essences will slowly disintegrate without the right concentration device. Recently, though, we made a massive breakthrough. We developed the Gauntlet module. This module will let you stabilize the essence and keep them. Here you go. All right, so, so, so we're going to be able to go get Titan Essences and save the world, of course. Okay, uh, we pinpointed six Titans. This is where they are on the map. And then he's going to hand me the module. Let's go. Here you go. Handle it with care. Closest Titan is Volgar, Donor Island. 
in the power tower. And we gotta go see Perrin the blacksmith. All right, let's do it. So yeah, basically we're told to go do some things and some stuff. Oh, and we're about to get the stink module. What's up, bud? Yes, sir. I'm happy for you. Let's celebrate with the stink module training. Don't like the name? Well, I bet you'll love what it can do. Essentially, it's like a repel for a specific spot of, gra of grass. Any patch you're standing in. Notice the blinking effect on the grass? That means you're free to wander through without the threat of wild Coromon. And it's just five minutes and it's recharged, ready to be used again. Well, that's it for today. Alright, let's do this. Maybe I wanted to get into battle, you jerk. Okay, we got some gold. Here we go, first battle. Swarmy. It's not a potent, though, so I will not take it. But th that's a great first first mon to run into, because Swarmy is God. And God is Swarmy. I just realized I only have, like, half health. Eat that. This will be good for dealing with the electric types uh, in Thunderous Cave, too. There's a lot of electric and water types in that area. Park Ranger's lame. I don't need to talk to him. SP Cake. Also wouldn't mind a Biddy Bolt, just saying. Oh, wait, what? Did I say yes? <laughs> oh, Nibblegar. That's a good, that's a good matchup. Frost Jump. Excuse me. He's lucky. Oh, he got frozen. <laughs> Never mind, he's not lucky. Bye, bud. And we got some potential. Now, I can't remember. I think he's attack and defense. So we're gonna go attack. I wanna be very powerful. What, you didn't even use your tackle? <laughs> I lied. Still no success in fire. Yeah, so Tattle is only available in the water, so you won't be able to find one until you get the surfboard. Combi Cake. I've put out tons of guides and stuff for this game, so like, I still recall some of it. Let's battle. I'm, I'm somewhat knowledgeable. I made a few guides here and there. Put out three videos a day when, when the game originally launched. That was a crazy month for the channel. I want to see more games like Coromon, like, make their way to the forefront. Like, we have a lot of upcoming monster taming games, but a lot of them don't have release dates, or a lot of them don't really market. Like, I want to see more games reach the levels that Coromon uh, has reached, and, like, Temtem has reached, and, you know, games, Monster Sanctuary, like, games like that. Like, I want to see more really high-quality monster taming games. Ooh, 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 ooh. He's getting kind of crazy. Let's go Patterbit. <laughs> okay, we can go slam here. Boink. All done. Bye-bye. You suck. I was one victory away from completing Duelist. Well, guess what? It's not time to duel. Alrighty. Oh, you know what? There is a pretty strong encounter here. We gotta fight that. We gotta fight a level eight Beazle, which is under leveled. I mean, so yeah, under leveled for it evolving, but it's still very powerful. So I might wanna, I might wanna get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of training in here. I, I don't, I can't leave though, but I, I, I could fight a couple of guys in here. I would like to level up to at least seven myself. And then I could 2v1 the Beazle. But Beazle's crazy. Crazy strong. Okay, you're only level three. Get ice chomped. Frost chomped, whatever. Yeah, if we find a potent Swarmy, we'll, we'll evolve him early. Beazle's a great early game mod to have. 
Okay, we're already level 8. That was pretty quick. I thought I, I didn't even realize we were uh, even level 7, so. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's go fight it. I just know if, if, if Cub Zero dies, like, Patterbit ain't doing nothing. Beasel, Beasel. I want to see if I can catch this one. Because the other ones are owned by people, so I'm not allowed. Because there's a quest that has you, like, fight a bunch of them. But I don't know if this one is catchable. Good damage. Oh, you can catch this one. Okay. One. Two. Three. Let's go! Nice! What does Antidote do? Make it immune to... Wait, what? The Coromon builds up an Antidote over time, which can cure a squad member from poison. Antidote won't have effect... Oh, you, it's an activatable trait. Interesting. Okay. That was really easy. <laughs> Damn, okay. We don't even need to let. We don't even need to do the swarmy thing. We have a Beza level eight now. <laughs> nice member on the team. All right, so this is a blacksmith. So you work on that fence. Are you the blacksmith? The one and only. Okay, now now I gotta go to his house. He's gonna he's gonna upgrade my module thing. He's gonna give me a replacement. I have to go talk to his brother to learn about the basics of Coromon. Uh, and then there's a quiz we could do which will give us the game's version of an XP share. Yeah, I gotta go visit the library. All right, I'll take that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Just commit a little bit of petty theft real quick. Uh, we can heal in here and then uh, we'll go to the library. So I'm hoping to get Volkar done within two to three episodes of this. Uh, kind of like we did for our original Let's Play. I'm not sure if this Let's Play will be shorter or longer. Because the story overhaul seems to be bringing a lot to the table. So we'll see. And then I hope they start working on Coromon too. <laughs> okay, give me my stuff. He's just going to give me a bunch of books. He doesn't understand the power of knowledge. He mocks me for reading. Yeah, yeah, g give me the books, man. I, ne I, I need this to progress the story. And then we'll see how rusty my knowledge is. Because there's, there's a guy that asks us a bunch of questions. All right. Thank you. Trainer handbook, Coromon handbook, potential handbook, stats handbook. All right. Okay, let's go talk to this guy. So maybe we can train two guys at once. I'll train the Beazle, I guess. The Patterbit. I, I mean, I could train the Patterbit. Patterbit's pretty good. I, I, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out who gets the the juicy uh, lazy gem. All right, let's do it. You have to defeat me in a in a knowledge battle. All right, bring it on. Okay, Ghost is very effective against, uh, not normal. Ghost. Correct. How many types are there? 13. Seven and, and six skill types. Following is a trainer rule. A trainer can only carry five. No, you can carry six. The speed stat, nope, is not Gen 1 Pokemon. Coromon of a different potential, different appearance only. False. Stats, too. There are types which can only be found on skills. Yes. Damage dealt is always determined by attack. Nope, special attack too. Air is very effective against... Uh, fire. Correct. How many potential variants are there? 21. There's three different different types of Coromon, but 21 potential variants. How many Coromon species? Uh, wait. Oh yeah, because they added some Coromon. It's 121 now. So, if I'm not mistaken, it was 114. And they added two lines, but at max, that would bring it to 120. So there might be something else kind of crazy going on. 121, right? Yep. You accept. I defeated you. Everyone will know that I defeated you. 
<laughs> that polka awesome or whatever. Okay, let's let's give the uh, let's give the lazy just. This is just an XP share basically, a twenty percent XP share. It's not that crazy. Again, guys, let me know if I'm rushing through things a little too quickly. I just I don't want to be redundant. Also, we can't catch these. We just, we can only fight them. It's not here. Give me your stuff. Thank you. Okay, we got the push module. Basically, we could push stuff now. Why they didn't give us the push module already in the R&D lab is beyond me. Okay. Pretty simple stuff. Don't talk to me. The Beazel, the Beazel quest, right? Yeah, what's kind of interesting is if you if you talk to her in the center, she'll also uh, initiate the quest. If you talk to her in the center after you've talked to that Marin dude, it's kind of interesting. Like you can you can set up the quest before it's even set. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's fight some of these Beazels. It's great experience. Uh, po the potent one will give me even more experience. Uh, so why not? Let's fight a few of them. We won't have to fight all. I won't do all of them, but. All right, Beazle. Let's go, bud. I'll do the potent one, and I'll do the uh, couple of these. Just the ones that are out, the, that are like right outside. Okay, I'm gonna get poisoned next turn. And one more, and you're done. Goodbye. You're the weakest link. Good. Level nine. We need levels for Boltgar, so especially if we're going to be going through things relatively quickly, we need to take the big XP where we can. And I think right now this is the biggest XP we can get, besides like trainers, which will come. But okay, let's heal up. Let's go get this potent one. Basil, basil. Basil, basil. Basil, basil. Yeah, we can't catch these if anybody's wondering. Because they technically belong to someone. Very irresponsible tamer. Chomp, and then one more and he's done. Unless we get a crit. No crit. Okay, slam. Or scratch, whatever. Ooh! Done. Basil, basil. Give me that XP. 508, let's go. Berries level 10. Static fur, okay. Give me some potential. Throw that into attack. Nice. Patterbit got some potential. Uh Patterbit has download if I'm not mistaken, so let's let's give him some uh let's give him some speed. Pretty sure his attack stat just raises his attack to the opponents. That's not one of the bad Beezles. I want to take out one more. Yeah, here he is. Okay. All right. Beezle, 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 Beezle. All right, Beezle. Show me your moves. No, not that one. It's just annoying because I don't like getting poisoned. Okay, good damage. We might actually kill him before the poison affects us. Hopefully. Dunzo. You're done. Level 11. Thank you for my stamina back. Hatterberg grew to level 7. Okay, cool. I I I'm happy with, with being level 11 right now. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going now. But there are six of them total. One of them's inside. Uh, the other two are out. There's one like down here to the left. Um, and then one's like in the backyard, I think. Woodlow Forest. Right, you're not a trainer. You are a trainer. Let's fight. I came here to train my Coromon. We haven't found any potents yet, so I'm hoping to find one soon. 
All right, Silkwill. Too bad you're not a flying type. Air is only a skill type right now. Although I'd love to see Coromon 2 make some of the skill types into regular types and have Titans based around them and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, uh, what do we got? Uh, okay, our motto, this is a potent. <laughs> Did I get a milestone for missing? Oh, he, he raised his crit chance. I gotta be careful there. Scratch. One more. Oh, not enough SP. How much do I have? We should be able to hit him with pound scratch. Yeah, done. Oh, and I got my SP back. Let's go. See, it's quality of life, man. Would you guys want me to run back and heal every time? That'd be boring. Heal just to just just, just to get more stamina. What's up? Why is this training area filled with bugs? Is that a Missy reference? And she's using the bugs. Let's go uh, Frost Chomp. Swermy's relatively weak by itself, so... As long as it doesn't use Rage six times or whatever and evolve early, we're good. Pretty cool mechanic in the game, if you didn't know. You could evolve a Swermy early by maxing out its attack. I made a guide about it, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, Mino. Okay, th this is the first thing that's actually, like, a, d uh, a straight counter. He screwed up. <laughs> I'm faster. Let's go. Scratch. Cub Zero, best starter. Had a big grew. Uh, I'll get that item up there. Another stinky scent. Don't really need it. Not yet, at least. I just became a trainer. Let's see who's stronger. All right, Alec. You you think you're tough? You your your name isn't even real, bro. Alec? Did your parents not were your parents not able to say Alex properly? Goodness. Oh, you put me to sleep. Oh, okay. I don't know what drowsy does. It used to just be sleep when I originally played. Actually, now that I think about it, there were a lot of updates since the last time I played the game. Like, they did have a major update where they changed a lot of stuff, so it'll be fun um, getting into the game like this. User gets revenge for its squad hitting once, plus one extra hit for each fainted squad member. I'll keep that in grow out of Q pose. Cub Zero is going to be a last stand, man. Ed defeated Alec. Yeah, that's right, because I don't think Drowsy was a thing. You would just straight up fall asleep. Spinner. Another battle. I saw a trainer. That means we have to battle, right? No, it means you suck. That's what it means. Oh, Scarbone. Okay. Chompy, chompy. What is Epiphany? Ooh, the defense. The defense, uh. Damn. And he got the crit. Okay, let's go scratch. Yeah, Barry's done. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Let's go patter bit. Give someone else some XP. Slam. Ooh, he survived. Slam. And I'm still getting that potential. Let's get some defense up in here. Still cool. Okay. Let's go feelers. Hit him with the little dildos. Claw. Okay, that's slightly hurt. Let's go slam. We need propeller punch on this thing. Ooh, that was that was close. If he goes fast strike, we're dead. Yeah, he did. The AI might be like Pokemon's where it's like, oh, you're low health. Let me use a priority move. That's okay. Beezle's got this. Uh, this is super effective, but it's, it's not very much damage. Oh, it's still killed. Okay. Nice. 
Beetle. That's right. One thing I do want to get, potent or not, early on, is a Fiddly. Fiddly's pretty strong early in the game. Not necessarily against what's uh, what's to come with Thunder's Cave, but still pretty strong. Okay, I don't want to battle too many people. Oh, no, no. Okay. I'll see you can find Biddy Bolt here, but unless he pops up immediately, we're probably not going to catch him. Yeah, he didn't show up. I don't want to talk to my mom. Screw her. Oh, Frova. Uh, we already got an ice type. We don't need him. And he's not he's not potent or anything. Okay, we can't go there yet. And Donor Island, here we are. Ahoy there, I'm Derek. Let's do it. Let's do it, Derek. Take me! Anchors away bud we're killing it 36 minutes in we already made it to donor island i'm not saying i'm a professional speedrunner, but <laughs> jk i'm sure speedrunners can do it in like 10 okay let's uh let's heal and then we'll go to that lab and then honestly like we we could oh thank you coromon storage nice heal me Kill me, you peasant. That was a coronet thing. Who's in here? That's it. Use of claw victories in our grasp. Just a few more and we'll dominate the next tier. I should have went to the the one on the campus so I could show you guys the gym leader Ed NPC. The sexiest NPC in all of gaming. Okay. They're here. Oh, sorry. I thought you were one of those weirdos Thomas talked about on the phone. They could be anywhere at the docks in the Thunderous Cave. We're not safe anymore. Calm down. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, breathe. Count to four. My dear partner and colleague Thomas was being chased. To get away, he had to lock himself in the fuse room deep within the cave. I would search for him myself, but I'm not exactly qualified. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Don't worry. I'm a researcher. I'll go. Really? That would mean the world to me. But the cave is a dark, dangerous place. I'll help you prepare. Take this helmet. Okay. <laughs> and some cakes. Thanks. The entrance to the cave is on the right. You can't miss it. Alright, let's do it. Thunderous cave. Let's go. Oh, let me grab this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I could grab Fiddly now, but I, I'm not, I'm not going to. Thinking about it, like, it's not going to be that good for this area anyway. Okay, we got a Lumon. Don't really need to worry about him too much. Some of the trainers here have a, have water types, and I think the idea is like, oh, you're going to catch some electric types, so you'll have an advantage. But we already have an advantage with our boy here. And I'm not catching anybody that's not at least potent. Unless they're something, like, really good. Like, I, I might still, I'll still catch a Mawful if one pops up. Potent or not. Shut up, Buzzlet. You smell. Uh, okay. Yeah, we can go this way. Pretty sure this is the way. It's been a little while, but I'm pretty sure this is the way. I think I've been in this cave for too long. Did I just see a blue person? <laughs> oh, you did. <coughs> Okay, sand skill. Menacing. Knocking down my attack stat. Let's go frost chomp. Ow! And my speed? Rude. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Let's go, Beezle. Okay, hit me with, with the old chomp. I'm gonna hit him with venomous bees if it hits. Gotta poison him, you know? Let's go slam. Beezel is gonna be good once he learns that double hitting move. I can't remember what it's called, but it's good. <laughs> Let's go feelers. 
Damn, bro. This thing's gonna sweep. I mean, to be fair, I just have to heal Cub Zero and we'll be good, but... Let's go slam. Mud Ball. And it kills. Okay. All right. All right, Barry. Okay, now that I don't have my attack lowered... Oh, of course. He uses Toughen Up. Screw you. I'm a physical attacker. You can't do this to me. Let's go Retaliation. Wait, why did it only hit once? Shouldn't have hit three times? Y'all are fainted. Get out of here. Propeller punch, here we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, another one? Okay, this one doesn't have that ability though. It should hit three times. Why is it not doing that? Toughen up? Oh, God. Don't get too tough, all right? Maybe we'll get a freeze off. It's only 10%, but... We could go static fur. Let's go static fur. Nice. He missed. That's good. Okay, now, now we'll heal. Haha! -ha. You done you done got you done got yourself screwed, bud. Ooh, that was a crit. The dirty crit. Frost chomp. Mud ball. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if retaliation is bugged because um, I can use HP cakes to heal. So I wonder if that like has an effect on it. Like the game thinks they're not fainted because I can use HP cakes. Doesn't matter either way, he's dead. Get out of my face. You disgust me. Level 14, not bad. Feeling much more focused now. But yeah, this is another thing. Like Phoenix shards aren't available yet, so we'd literally not be able to use anybody else. I would, I would, inevitably, <coughs> excuse me, just take myself back to the, the center. Whereas now I don't have to do that. Custom mode rules. Custom game settings are amazing. Oh, double moffles. Uh, I'll take the level nine one. Why not? Ooh, Vigilant. Sandball. Ooh. Let's go Scratch. You're done. Okay, level 10. He's gonna hit me with another Sandball. I'm gonna hit you with a Frost Chomp, then I'm gonna throw the Soul Heal Spinner. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Come on, Spinner. You got this. You got this, buddy. Two. Three. Capjaw. Lucky. Okay. Uh, yeah, actually. What does Lucky do? Critical hit chance is always increased by one stage. I'll take it. Different skins. Oh, what? Wait, what? Why is this one free? Wait, can I set a Mon to have a completely different skin? Is there a reason this is free? I can't set my skin to that though. Right? 
I don't think I don't think that's how it works. Okay. Yes. Uh he doesn't need a nickname. He's probably gonna get thrown out. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah, you know what else I could do? I could increase battle speed. Pretty sure that's a setting. Although it feels like it's already increased. I remember the battle speed of the game used to be way slower. They might just have it increased by default now. Everything seems faster. Oh, give me that. I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Oh, no. What you got? Hound us! I'm surprised we have not found a single potent. They're a 1 in 40 chance. I'm surprised we haven't found a single one yet. As I say that, let's see. No. Okay, never mind. What do we got down here? And this is just that gold chest, right? We need to go to that spot where there's all those pillars. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just coming off of being sick. Got some combi cakes, some bear fruit. Might want to use a bear fruit after beating up the Titan. That'd be pretty good, actually. Ooh, level 12? I kind of want him. Better than level 9. Alright, let's see if I can't just, like, cheese it. Ah, oh, so close. Okay, we'll hit him with a frost charm. Um, you know what? I should have used uh, static for. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, he's dead for two seconds before I heal him later. Uh, and then we'll go. We'll go pattern it. Okay, let's see if we can't catch him now. I mean, wh why train three levels when I can just catch one? Beauty. Escapist. Uh, yeah, what does Escapist do? Does it help me run from battle? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> His cry always gets me. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm going to put a stinky scent on. I'm not a huge fan of caves. Oh, 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 this is the spot. I remember this place. Wait, no, she wants to fight. No, I, I know I don't have to fight her. Yeah, here we go. SP cake. Speaking of which, let's heal you. Not 100% sure, but I feel like I'll need that. Okay, it's, it's light again. That's good. Phoenix shard. Hey, she's she moved while I was getting an item. Okay, we beat her. Stinky scent. I don't need whatever that is that bad. Okay, she's not optional. Let's go. I work up in the power tower during my break. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care about your life story, Lori. Oh god. This thing's a menace. It's a good thing we got the advantage here. That thing will just. Th this attack will just destroy you if you choose Taruga. It'll just destroy you. If you don't catch yourself an electric type in here, this thing will sweep your team. 
Goodbye. Dunzo. I'm almost ready to evolve. Okay, Houndoss, we can deal with that. Let's go Scratch. Again, Cub Zero is really good for the first area, I find. Um, it definitely it, it definitely helps that he gets Scratch, which is a cut-type move, which is good against Electric. Goodbye. Goodbye. Get wrecked. I want to see if there's any sort of new story implications. Uh, when we meet, uh, Nicola or whatever his name is. Show evolution details. Okay, st oh, after taking your, uh, very effective da Okay, so what, what, what does Stoic even do? After taking very effective damage, the Cormon's defense or special defense is increased by... Sp oh, okay, okay. Uh... After taking very effective damage, the Cormon's defense and special defense. Oh, okay, okay, so currently his trait does one. If I refuse to evolve him, it'll do both, but I I'm definitely gonna evolve him. The trade-off, in my opinion, isn't isn't good enough. Hell yeah. Aurora. And we got Splash, which is a good move to have. Um, We'll get rid of Static for... Especially in this area where there's a lot... There's going to be a lot of electric types. Static fur is not going to be too crazy. Oh, here we go. End of the tunnel. I want to see if there's anything new in here. Huff, puff, huff. Because my assumption is that most of the story overhaul is going to be towards the latter half of the game. Uh, hence why I'm trying to get through these parts quicker. Uh, what materials did we use to construct this door? <laughs> yeah, I know what to do. Yes, I am. You must be the battle researcher Nicola sent. Finally, a friendly face. I need your help to escape this room. The only issue is I had to break the circuit board in order to throw off my pursuers. We need the fuse box in emergency mode. This can be done by overcharging it with enough power. The fuse box should be to your left. Yep. It's right here. Wonderful. You'll need a core mod with electric type attack. Otherwise, it'll give you a nasty shock. Here, I'm going to give you a couple electric spinners. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need an electric type. Checkpoint. Okay. Nope. Let's catch an electric type real quick. Oh, oh the stinky sense on. Let me turn it off. Can I turn it off? Maybe not. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Should we just try to fight the fuse box without the electric type? Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Fuse box appears. We should be able to catch it. Okay, Splash should do 15 damage. Ooh, it did a lot. Oh, he's gonna keep using Quick Charge, okay. Splash. Can we get two Splashes off before I die? Splash. I wonder if the fuse box can get poisoned. Oh, the fuse box doesn't kill you anymore, I don't think. Oh, no, it does. It does. Never mind. I know they nerfed it. Sandball. <laughs> Lowering its stats. Oh, let's go tailspin. Oh, it's gonna discharge me with all of them. Oh, that's my bad. I didn't. I didn't realize that would happen. Not bad though. Okay, he's dead. Yeah. So if you use an electric type, you won't take damage back. But we're sexy. We don't. We don't need to follow and conform. Nice. Nice HP. Should have used a burr fruit. Nice XP rather. You freed me, my gratitude. 
In such a small room, as uh, was okay, was starting to set off my claustrophobia. Thankfully, my invention, the essence locator, is safe now. Those strange uh, thugs can't get their hands on it anymore. We can't assume they're totally gone, though. Your name was Ed, right? Okay. Yep. One more thing. These people think I have the essence locator, so let me put it in your backpack. Okay. He went inside me. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Didn't even take the item in here. What are you doing, Thomas? HP cake, SP cake. Where does it where does this even go? Oh, over here, okay. Combi cake. Right back to the entrance. That's good level design. Take that. Barry's got to be nice and healthy for this next fight. Woobians! Well, hello there, Thomas. We've been expecting you. What in the world? Who are you people? It doesn't matter who we are. What's important is what we brought with us. We are here to deliver a magnificent gift. Fanto, shush. We're just here for one thing. The essence locator. Hand it over, Thomas. Yes, it would be in your best interest to give it to us quickly. I won't. The device is too precious. It's essential to Luxalis Titan research. Perhaps, yet it will precisely tell us what we need to deliver. The gift we brought. Well, I made sure you'll never get your hands on it. I hid it away somewhere deep and dark, somewhere you'll never be able to find it. Oh, are you so sure? So, so th they speak in backwards language. So they're saying this pathetic alien, it's for his own good. Should I use our trump card? I'm sure he's, uh, what was that? Potent? E enough to survive the transformation. Use it. <laughs> uh, forget the essence locator and let, um, let what? Crim why why can't I why can't I spell backwards right now? Crimsonite uh work its okay, Crimsonite work its um pers uh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Basically they're gonna use the thing. Brawler, do it. Hey hey, no problem, boss. Do what? This is for the future of the Woobians. What's that around Thomas? What are you doing to him? Be happy for your friend. He gets to enjoy the beauty of our ways before any other. He's now surrounded by and will be soon by convinced of the most versatile elements in existence. We have what we came for. Let us make haste. I can't wait to see the full potential on, of the Crimsonite on this planet. Okay, Crimsonite's new. I won't let you leave without a fight. I don't believe you have the luxury to worry about us, fool. Worry about your colleagues instead. The first test subject that actually survived the transformation is wreaking havoc. As expected, the absence of this newly acquired element on this planet makes a creature quite angry. If you wish to minimize damage, I suggest you hurry. So this is story differences, boys. Finally, help has arrived. There's an incorrigible creature. It's slight so far, but... I've never seen a Cormon like that in my whole life. Ed, you've got a strong squad. All right, this is a dark matter lumen, but <coughs> let's see. Lumen appears. Go Barry. Can we catch him? Ah. Okay, let's. Uh, what was he level six? We we can we can take him out with three splashes. Oh, you jerk! You shocked me. Oh, and I missed. Ouch. Yeah, we're we're, we're gonna spam splash here. Woo! Yeah, one more and it's GG's. Uh, I don't want to waste any cakes though. If uh, Aurora dies, it dies. It, 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 this thing's low health anyway. Oh, he had to rest. 
you get wrecked as long as I hit. Goodbye. Remember, the attack's like seismic toss, so it does damage based on... Uh, It does damage based on the level of the opponent. So it's a little different than Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss is based on the level of the user. But yeah, it fled. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I'm so glad you arrived when you did. You scared it off before it could harm Buzzlet. Thomas, did you ever find my dear Thomas? Is he waiting outside? Well, about that. The ones who attacked the lab, apparently they were after the essence locator. And Thomas refused to give it to them. So they, they took Thomas instead. They unleashed a monster in my lab, then they abducted Thomas. Oh, I can't. I just need a moment. Get over it. <laughs> this is bad. Think. We need to act immediately. Where could they have taken Thomas? What would anyone want with a locator? The Titan Essence. What if they plan to steal the Titan Essences as well? We must activate the power tower security measures at once. There. We must ensure the safety of Volkar right away. Ed, are you up to the task? Can you check the power tower? Of course I will go. Be careful, Thomas came back bruised from his research trips to the top. Don't worry, I got this. Hell yeah. Let's go heal up. I'm very satisfied with the progress we made in just an hour. Um, I, I was expecting it to take longer to, to get to where we're at, so very good stuff. Uh, what I will say is we're going to conclude the episode from here. It looks like this Crimsonite is some sort of uh, dark matter equivalent, maybe? So I don't know what's going on with that, but we'll, we'll definitely have to keep looking into it. If you enjoyed the video, you want to stay up to date on all things Coralmon, monster taming, whatever, subscribe to the channel for daily videos. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon as well. And special thanks to our patrons and channel members. Also consider becoming a channel member. Uh, especially Dro Ghost, Candy Maruncy, and Exodus. And we'll see you next time. Peace.